I personally didn't want to go through, but I mean, her objective was to get the like the viewer involved with her art. So I guess like she did get that, but I wouldn't want to be involved in her art. So is that typical of the reactions that you got, Caroline? Well, I, I think I think you see a little bit of everything. I spent some time talking to folks uh, who were going through the exhibit, and you have some folks that are just very open-minded, and they're there. There, there is. I think she's referring to one piece in particular, which is two nude people standing in a doorway, a man and a woman, and there's just enough space for somebody to sort of scooch through sideways. And so the piece forces you to confront, okay, am I going to face the woman? Am I going to face the man? Is there a possibility of bodily contact, which, of course, there is because the space is so narrow? Um, and you see all kinds of attitudes. I mean, I think most, by and large, it's very open-minded, but then there are folks that are kind of quizzical or they just think it's a little weird. They wouldn't do it themselves, but they'll go look at it at the museum. So that Abramovic exhibit is inside a museum on the top floor through a door behind a sign advising guests that there will be nudity. Uh, yes. Brian, your uh, exhibit um, at, at the gallery, The Chair and the Maiden, uh, posed a nude woman right in a storefront window. So walk us through that a little bit. What, what was going on there behind the nude? And for people who haven't seen it or haven't thought about what it really meant, what was the point? Well, the point was like I constructed a temple, and uh, I had these nodes uh, to to the spirit world, and I had priests and shamans um, as as new uh, models there, being being able to access those uh, nodes and having live models. Yes, uh, we had a high priestess right right in front of the store window, and um, many people walked by, and and they would think that. Is she real? You know, they they would get very close, and and then they would walk inside, and 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 they were okay. They were completely okay as as long, and then they realized, oh my God, she's she she moved or she blinked a little bit, and uh, that that sensation of you know, I I I was two or three inches away from a, a nude per- person that I thought it was a, a wax sculpture or something. Um, really created this uh, excitement and buzz. Um, is it supposed to make us think about something in a new way? My work is about uh, the meaning of life and interconnectivity, and uh, I Megan became this representation of like this pure body. And if I had clothes or um, had the model uh, portrayed in a way that kept. Uh, a barrier between her or put a different message out to the public, it wouldn't allow my art to have that interconnectivity and that message that I wanted it to be. And so ha- having a nude model was essential to that that clear and and clean interconnectivity that I wanted. Do you think, Carolina, that the Abramovic exhibit was aiming for a similar thing? Well, I think I think what a lot of these sort of nude performances aim for is is just sort of this feeling of of vulnerability that nudity can elicit. I mean, I think a lot of times people confuse a, a nude model or a nude performer with something that is uh, sexualized. Uh, that could uh, titillate or cause arousal. And I think so often when you see it in these artistic um, settings, especially within the context of performance art, it's a little bit more confrontational. And certainly every artist has their own reasons for choosing uh, to to use a nude model. I mean, I think certainly in Abramovic's case, I mean, her root, her work is is rooted uh, in 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 the seventies. Uh, she's uh, born in Serbia uh, within a very sort of macho culture, and this idea of like a woman being nude in a non sexualized way was this very sort of radical way uh, for a performer to think about herself, and and so it, it confronts those those stereotypes that people have about it. Have either of you seen? Uh, the exhibit that I was referring to that Mayor Bloomberg is photographed looking at, I said City Hall Park. It's actually Madison Square Park, uh, where British sculptor Anthony Gormley put 27 anatomically realistic figures based on his own body on the edges of rooftops near the park, plus four more at street level, yes. according yes, to the Daily News. Yeah. You've seen this, Brian? Yes, and, and, and you're walking by, and people are, are saying, you know, is that person going to jump <laughs> you know, on the rooftop? And, and, and I think you know, it's, a, it's, a great, it's a great strategy uh, for the artist to, to um, bring people to investigate his work more. And I mean, I think what's interesting about something like Gormley's uh, show in Madison Park is that 
for so long, nudity has been a part of sculptural art, certainly when you think about like classical Greek art and Roman art, and it's a part of our art if you look at you know arches on city streets and uh, the sculptures in our museums. I mean, you can go to the Met and tour those classical galleries, and you are going to see a lot right. of nudity. But the classic Greek sul- sculptors weren't doing it to confront, for example, as you described. Before. Well, they were doing to document beauty, but I mean, certainly there there is always something I think a little confrontational about sort of picturing a nude body. But I, but I think you know, well, what separates that Greek sculpture from what Gormley is doing? It is still a nude. Do you think it's the male nude that becomes more confrontational than a female nude? I think in some cases there is there is something uh, about male nudes that can. I think they're less common in art, so they certainly, I think, raise eyebrows a little bit more. Uh, there was an interesting uh, – uh, sh- there's a photographer in L.A. who recently had an interesting show uh, where he – Marco Zimmerman, who he just photographed working-class male nudes sort of doing what they do in their work. And there is something very unusual about seeing a <laughs> battery of, like, male nude photos. Is there uh, a different meaning to a male nude than a female nude? Is that why you asked the question? You have an opinion on it yourself, Brian? I, I think so. Um, you know, in my exhibition at the opening, we we had male nude uh, performers, um, and there were a total of fourteen that were captured in photographs through the exhibition. And Megan was the female that was left uh, through the exhibition. I actually got in the window one day with Megan myself nude, and it changed the whole context of the exhibition. You know, we had the NYPD originally come in and, and um, kind of say, you know, we have to shut this exhibition down, and and it, we had to get the, uh, the um, Coalition of Censorship and and the uh, New York uh, Civil Liberties Union involved to declare my work a work of art, and everything was fine. The exhibition was going. There were um, people were coming, and then I got into the window, and uh, you know, neighbors, the community, you know, uh, people. Uh, there was a, a children's haircutting place down the street, and the the owner came in and said, "When is this exhibition going to be over? You know, you're you're causing a disturbance to my business." And and it was, you know, and it's just me. I'm naked. They're standing still, and and this naked woman had been standing there the whole time, and that and the, it didn't happen before I got into the window.